Hey guys, welcome back. So for a long time now, my go-to rig has been this. This is a Canon ADD DSLR crop sensor with a Samyang 135. Uh, you'll find this in a lot of places as a Rokinon 135. Same thing, same everything, just a different brand on it. Um, this is a 135 millimeter prime manual focus F2 lens. Uh, it takes spectacular pictures. Uh, it's got great glass. Um, in my opinion, it's roughly equivalent to the Canon L series. A lot of people will disagree with that, but it really does take really good crisp photos and it allows you to just paint with darkness. This thing really loves low light. Uh, as a low light lens, this thing is awesome for astrophotography. Uh, it really is a go-to lens for a lot of astrophotographers uh, that want something really wide field. This rig right here will get you beautiful shots um, with not much effort. The unfortunate thing is when you mount it to a tracking mount, your balance is here. So this thing, which weighs a literal ton because it's not plastic, it's metal. Uh, it's nearly impossible to get a really good balance on a tracking mount and I don't have a good way to mount this on my large equatorial mount so I'm kind of stuck. I've noticed here over the last couple months a couple of YouTubers, famous astrophotographers have had this great little ring kit from uh, a company, uh, Agena Astro sells it um, and it basically turns it into a small astrograph. And it's awesome, but every time I went to look for it, it wasn't in. Well, I got on Agena's website and I found this. Uh, this is made by a company in Canada. Uh, it's a 3D printed version, nearly the same thing. Uh, I'm about to unbox it and see what we get out of it. All right, so what do we get? Um, from Agena Astro, this is the Astrodimium Astrodymium, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, uh, ring system. Uh, it's specifically for the Rokinon and Samyang 135. Um, now, I've looked at a lot of videos online about another product uh, that's from a company called Astronetics. Um, this was distributed by Agena Astro and the, uh, the Astronetics is also distributed by them. Um, what this is, is a, it's a three-piece system consisting of a top rail, two rings that can be mounted on a Vixen-style or Lozmandy-style uh, rail for mounting on an Equatorial or an Alt-As mount. Uh, it's very similar to the Astronetics mount. The system is designed to turn your Samyang or Rokinon 135 into a small astrograph. Uh, the main difference between the two that I can see uh, in the Astronetics version, they're including a mount for the ZWO electronic focuser, which I don't have, and an actual plate that's for the ASI Air, which I also don't have. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, it comes nicely packaged. This is 3D printed. Uh, it's It looks to be pretty decent quality. Um, uh, I, I don't have any complaints with it. The finish doesn't look to match from piece to piece. Like this side of this piece matches this side of this piece. Um, that's not really a deal breaker for me. I'm using this thing at three o'clock in the morning. I'm not exactly looking at it. Uh, these are the rails. Uh, nicely packaged actually. Uh, actually their packaging material looks to be 3D printed as well. Oh, and they included candy for me. Cool. My blood sugar will love that. Um, also the various screws that we're going to need and the top plate. Um, really nice finish on it. Uh, it's got the, the ridges that are inherent in just about every uh, 3D printed item I've ever seen. There are actual metal nut certs in everything. So we're not actually screwing into plastic. There are, there are metal threads uh, inside. Um, so that's pretty high quality. Um, 
Yeah. I like it. So far it's uh it's pretty much what I expected. Now, this version is a lot cheaper uh than the other the Astronetics version I think is right around 100 bucks. This one's right around 65 maybe. Um, I, I don't remember. I got a couple other things uh, when I got this. Um, but it's a lot cheaper. And again, it doesn't have the EAF plate uh, or ring, which is fine. The website does say that they're coming. So if that's a deal breaker for you, they are going to be uh, adding that. There are places on the side, it looks like, uh, that we can mount accessories. Uh, all right, well, let's put it together and see what we get out of it. All right, so this is what we end up with everything uh, unboxed. Um, looking at the pictures, looking at uh, the, the picture online on the Gina Astro, uh, it's showing the screws all to the east side. Um, uh, of the lens so I'm going to mount them so that these are on the the right side of the frame um, I'm also going to make sure that I mount the shoe uh, as well the top rail so that the screws are on the uh, east side of the, the lens so looking at the screws that come with it uh, it looks like we have two screws that are going to be for the plate on the bottom, which is not included, but I've got so many of those things laying around. If you're buying this and you uh, don't have a plate, you wanna make sure that you get a plate. Uh, SV Boney has one on Amazon that's super cheap. Uh, there's a couple different uh, discount manufacturers. It's just a piece of aluminum, folks. It doesn't have to be super high quality, 80 or $90 plate. It's literally a piece of aluminum that you're gonna drill two holes in and mount, a, mount this thing. Um, um, these two look to be your screws that are going to mount uh, your guide camera and scope and these are your assembly screws for this system so the large there's two different size holes in these rings the large ring is going to go to the front and again I'm mounting everything to the east so all you're going to need for this part is a 2.5 millimeter uh, Allen key, which is not included, um, which is kind of refreshing because I have a literal bucket of cheap Allen keys that if you try to use them for anything else, strip out um, that I've saved over the years. And uh, you know what? I don't need another Allen key. So let this be a... Um, Lesson maybe to other manufacturers, we don't need these Allen keys. 99.9% .9 of us uh, have these things in droves all over our shops and our workbenches and our kitchen drawers and our uh, junk drawers and our toolboxes and everything else. So we, got, we just honestly don't need them. Uh, so it's kind of refreshing that it wasn't re included. Um, because I have entirely too many of them anyway. So I left it a little bit loose. Uh, now I'm going to loosen up these guys. I don't even think we need to take them apart. Uh, they are hinged. I'll take one apart real quick. They are hinged, so they're easily disassembled. Um, but I honestly don't think we need to. All right, so I'm going to mount it. Um, that Sam Yang is going to be up. So as long as I get that centered, I think, make sure everything's squared because again, I didn't tighten it up. I'm gonna snug these guys. I'm not killing it, I'm just snugging it. And then I'm going to give these guys up top a little snugging. And that should be it. There you go. So again, uh, I've decided to mount my uh, guide scope and camera uh, 
to the forward end, and I'll show you why here in a moment. So, I mean, that's what you end up with. You, now you've got a perfect little astrograph. Uh, it's a little bit heavy on the uh, for what it is, but it's easily going to um, mount on either my tracking mount or my uh, regular go-to mount. Uh, the go-to mount that I have will handle plenty of weight, but the tracking mount holds 11 pounds pretty handily. Uh, so four and a half pounds. This probably weighs in at about five, maybe six with a plate on it um, and easily will be handled by that. So this is why I decided to mount to the front two holes rather than the back two holes. Uh, is I want to make sure I have plenty of clearance. Uh, now I'm going to be able to mount this thing, balance it correctly, and uh, have tracking, have a, a small astrograph that's mounted properly, and uh, I'm not going to worry about my balance being horribly off when I'm on my tracking mount. And now, obviously, I'm going to be able to mount this thing with the rail to my uh, to my big mount. So. All in all, I think the uh, 65 bucks, I think is what I paid for this, is absolutely worth it to me. Uh, now I literally have turned my Samyang into a telescope. Um, again, the main reason I chose this uh, over the Astronetics is I don't have a focuser. I don't have a uh, ASI Air. Uh, I don't plan on getting in a ZWO focuser or an ASI Air anytime soon. Uh, and those, to me, were the main selling points of the, uh, of the Astronetics. Um, so this one's a little bit cheaper. It doesn't have those things that I'm not going to need anyway. So this was absolutely the logical choice for me. Now, I do have several holes uh, here and here. Uh, again, they did say that they're going to come out with a plate for the ASI Air and the, um, and the Focuser. Uh, that stuff's coming. Um, so if you are looking to get those in the future to upgrade, uh, they're absolutely going to be available for this system. Um, right now, I don't need it. I'm probably not going to need it. I may add an Astroberry to here so that as far as portability goes, this will be an ultimate portable rig to throw a tracking mount, um, my Star Adventurer, and this rig with the Astroberry for guiding, um, and even to be able to use the uh, Canon and Echos to do a full capture system. This would uh, this would absolutely be perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. So uh, we'll give it a try and see what happens. They have uh, an intention. Oh my God. Port St. Lucie, Florida, folks. On a quiet night, you can hear yet another broke dick Honda with a fart can. So ridiculous. And my neighbor's out watering, so I'm hoping my microphone's not picking that up, but I'm guessing it is because it's super sensitive.